Jacques Cartier was a young man in the city of St. Malo. He was a fisherman. When he went to the new lands to fish, he had always wondered what was beyond the fishing grounds, but no one was brave enough to explore farther. One day, he met with a man named Admiral Philippe de Chabot. He helped Jacques to get the funding he needed for an expedition. They both wanted to find a new trade route to China. They got 61 crewmen, food, two ships, plenty of trading materials, and water. On April 20th, 1534, Jacques left St. Malo. On the way to the new land, Cartier met with many new animals such as the white bear, polar bear, and a flightless bird called the great auk. One day, Jacques came across two men in a wooden canoe. He decided to invite them aboard the train. He traded with them. He gave them knives and other utensils for furs. The natives gave him all the furs they had, even the ones they were wearing. After that, he sailed farther. Soon they met 50 strange men in canoes. They traded with them items such as cutlery for other items such as fish and furs. Soon the chief Donna Kana invited them to a feast. Jack earned Donna Kana's trust, so the chief gave Cartier a headpiece. This symbolized that they were now friends. They set up camp a bit downriver, and they started building a fort for backup. They continued eastward and figured out that the river was too narrow for the ships, so they turned back. They talked to Donacana and asked him if they could bring back his sons, Theogony and Domagaya, back to France. Cartier docked in St. Malo. Afterwards, he tried to get funding for another exploration from the king. Meanwhile, the natives were learning French. After getting the king to agree to fund another voyage, he got all his materials and crew so he could set sail for the new land. When Cartier reached Canada, he immediately sailed to Donacana's village to inform him of his arrival. Once in the village, he returned to Yogani and Domagaya, so Cartier and Donacana were both happy. After trading, he sailed to where the natives said the passage would be. After he sailed into the passage, he discovered it was a river. Infuriated because Jacques thought the aboriginals had lied to him, he returned to the village and kidnapped Donna Kana and a few other aboriginals. Soon after Cartier returned to France, the aboriginals died because of common sicknesses such as the cold and the change in environment, and Jacques' career as an explorer had almost ended.